we'll go there in a second. I'm going mean, to go over some of our adaptive equipment that we have real quick. The little outriggers that you see right there, that obviously keeps the canoe balanced. It's very, very difficult to flip a canoe with those on. If you flip it with those on, you are trying to do it on purpose. And that will probably not look very good on you. And if you flip any of these canoes, that's really, it's hard to do unless you are playing around and not taking your job seriously. So, I don't want to see any canoes flip this summer, just to tell you that. Um, the other thing we have, we have carbon squares. If you ever sit a camper in the middle of the canoe, make sure you're not sitting them on that, that metal. This is very hot. They need to sit on that um, carbon square because some of our campers have very sensitive skin and it could really um, definitely burn the bottom of their legs if you sit on that. Another thing we have for some of our campers is a bing bag. Where do we get By the way, the outriggers are for any of your campers who have balance problems. Or counselors. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a problem, we'll discuss it and we'll have you on campus come down here. And then a, we have two bean bags, so it'll just depend on which campers need it the most. But the bean bags will give a little bit extra support for those campers who cannot sit in the bottom of the boat by themselves. And you'll, I mean, if you think your camper needs it, let the lifeguards know and they'll help you decide if what's best for your camper in this situation. So, and if, our camp, if our, one of the lifeguards say, you know, I think they'd be better on a uh, bean bag, listen to them, they've seen lots of people go out in the canoes, so they, you know, they'll know what will be most comfortable for your camper. Any questions? You can use it to set them up too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can use it, I mean, there, there's several different ways if they just need extra support. They can sit on it like you sit on a bean bag. You can do the straight cross counter. Or if they uh, they can sit on it like that if they just need a little extra support, or they can actually lean back on it if they can't hold them, their upper body up. They can sit on the carpet square and lean back. And I'm sure by the end of the summer we'll have probably 50 different variations for sure. Y'all watch where we're parking this, where we're going to park it. Don't park it like Anna has it right now. Park it sideways on the hill. It'll go down like that. Right. So if you're going to park a wheelchair, park it sideways with the brakes on. <coughs> and the way we're going to transfer into the canoe, if you have a transfer, we're going to get the canoe sideways like this into the water. And you're going to bring the camper. You're going to transfer them. So I would not worry about the seat belt as far as the water issue down here. Because it's more of a concern like on your boat dock when if the seat, if the chair went in, it would